what we've got here is another of the great tree species of England. This is the beech tree. You can see this wonderful silvery bark and the, the wobbly adaptability of the trunk as it copes with having branches lopped off it and shifts in the soil. It turns into this beautiful molded shape. And the wood itself is hugely important, often used as uh, fuel wood or uh, for furniture making. The bodgers, you may have heard of the term bodging, uh, which is a bit of an insulting name for what was actually a very fine profession. And the bodgers were people who made furniture in the forest and they used to lop branches off beech trees and they'd turn the wood in the forest itself and come out of the forest with a chair. So bodging is actually a really skilled profession. Beech trees are the dominant trees on thin soil, particularly on slopes. They cast a very deep shade and not much grows underneath beech trees. Uh, but they are native trees that have been here since oh, a good six, seven thousand years. Another interesting feature of beech trees is the bark is very nice for carving into. Now some people see this as graffiti, but in truth it doesn't really do very much harm to the trees. And as the trees get older, the bark grows and it stretches. And actually we know that this used to happen in Roman times. And there's a Roman epithet about it that goes crescent ille crescant amores, which means as the letters grow, so our love, showing that the Romans were just as twee as we are. You can see that here people to this day still carve their names and dates into beech trees and it'll be there for probably decades to come. Have you ever carved your name into a beech tree? I haven't, no. I don't like to hurt my friends. These are the beech's leaves. They're quite glossy and shiny. When they first come out they have this little fringe of hairs around the edges. Um, beech leaves have a traditional use in that they can be used to make booze or rather much as you make various fruit um, spirits, you can pack a jar full of beech leaves and pour vodka on top of it and leave it for six months and you get a very nice beech leaf flavoured drink. You know you're in a beech wood even before you look up at the trees because they cast such a dense shade, very little grows underneath them. What you have is this dense carpet of leaves that take a long time to break down and these husks of the beech mast that contain the beech nuts which crunch underfoot as you walk through a beech forest. And beeches are masting trees in that they produce their seed only every four or five years but when they do they shower down huge quantities of it. It covers the ground.